to episode 34 of the Bazooka Kickboxing Series and in this episode we're talking about blocking kicks and countering with our punches. Last week was blocking and countering with our kicks. So this way, um, after this episode, you have the option of blocking left or right kicks and either countering with the kicks or the punches. So let's start right away with the blocking of the right kick. We're going to start very slow and we're going to work on blocking the one side kick and countering with a single punch at first. So the first one's coming with the right kick and the easiest one to counter off with is the right hand. And the important thing about countering with your punches is controlling the step down. What you're going to see is a lot of people step and fall and it just shows a lack of control in the footwork. So what you really want to do is be able to block and control that step down where you want. So for example, when throwing the right hand, I might want to step into center line. I might block and maybe step outside, but I have that option because I'm in control of my footwork. So the first one again, blocking off the right, countering with the right hand. So we have to do a few here. Okay, to make this drill a little bit more advanced, what you can do is you can start with a jab or straight punches. They're going to try to counter off. You block and then counter with your punch. So for example, I'm going to throw a jab. IBL counters with a kick. I block off and I throw my punch. So all controlling the weight in my footwork. Okay, the same thing can be applied with the left hook. So he's going to throw the right kick. Boom, I step in with my left hook. Lock, left hook. So you can do any punch you want. So we can go block and left uppercut. I can go block, even jab off of it. And off my right hand, I can go uppercut or hook. So let's start with straight, then uppercut, then hook. Okay, so just different options. Once you have the single now, the pad holder is going to call um, more volume after that hit. So it's probably best you pick which combination you want to counter with. This way you don't have to think twice. In the bazooka system, you don't want to have to block and think which counter am I going to throw next. Have set counters that you like to throw. One of my favorites, hook cross hook, um, maybe hook cross, maybe hook low kick. So have set counters um, built in. So let's go with the right hand, follow hook round kick. So one, two, three. We're going to add the punch before. Okay, let's going to go off this hand, lead block, hook, cross, hook, round kick. One more. So we're still working on blocking the right kick and countering with our punches. Now we're going to do it as a partner drill. This way the person and the, the people who are drilling this can be a little bit more creative. We're going to start with singles. Once you start finding the block in the single, we'll start adding combinations after that. So I'm going to throw first, Aviel is going to block the right low kick and counter with a single punch of his choice. Now that we have our timing for our single, now we can do any combination we want back and forth. Kick first. No, wait till I kick first.
So now that we drilled the right leg, it's important to work on the left leg. And just like our last videos, when we're blocking the left kick, you have two options. You can come over and cross or bring the back leg up. We're gonna start very simple. We're gonna block and counter with our right hand first. Doesn't matter which block, and then we'll go to the left hook. Um, then from there, you can be creative with the way you wanna counter. So let's start with just the right straight. <laughs> Constantly changing up how you block. Okay, once you have the right hand, let's go to the left hook, same concept. Okay, same thing can be applied to the other punches. So you can block, counter uppercut, uh, on both sides, counter hook on the other side, but we're gonna go right into combinations. Let's go into my favorite cross hook round kick. And remember, you can counter with any combination you want, but I'm looking for block to punches first. And let's go back into do it with partner drills. Now that we worked on the left block, countering with our punches, we're gonna use partner drilling in order to make it flow a little bit more. We're gonna start with blocking the left kick and attacking with a single. Once we get comfortable with our singles, we'll add more combinations. So Abiel's gonna start first. Sorry. Okay, let's start adding doubles after the block. Okay, any combination you want back and forth. All right, for some of my advanced followers now, this is more of the type of drilling you're gonna wanna do. Aviel and I have no shin guards on. Even for the intermediate followers, it's a good idea every so often to take your shin guards off, especially if you're thinking of fighting with no gear, just to get used to the feeling. It's a totally different feel having no shin guards, and now it's actually learning how to use the kicks properly because you have to hit with the right part of the shin. So, if you're not an advanced person and you're watching this video, just put some shin guards on, keep your mouth guard in, you know, put your headgear on if you really have to, but just use the amount of gear you feel comfortable with. Safety is first. So, um, Aviel's just gonna kick left or right now, and I'm just gonna counter with my punches. This is where having a set counter combination is gonna really play in your advantage. This way you don't have, if you're not thinking what you wanna throw after which block. So, let's see um, what unfolds off of this drill.
discussing some common mistakes and the first one is going to be not controlling that step down. Once you get that block up, you have to be able to control that placement down. Otherwise, you're falling into your technique and it just shows lack of control and actually crappy technique. So make sure you're able to block and control your footwork into the punching. The second thing you want to make sure is you don't wait too long to counter. What's going to happen if you wait, you block, you put your foot down and then you step to counter, most likely it's going to be too late. So make sure you block, step right into your punch counters. And make sure, even if you don't get the block up, and what's going to happen, sometimes you might try to bring the block up and it still slips in, don't worry, still go with the counter. This way you're still going to make your opponent to think twice before throwing that kick again because even if he doesn't block, I'm going to throw my punch anyways. One of the main things you're going to see if people are taking a lot of punishment on the leg or on the kicks, you're going to have to stand your ground and counter right back. There you go, episode 34 of the Bazooka Kickboxing Series, blocking and countering with your punches. The episode for four, we blocked and countered with our kicks. But the third thing we're gonna do with these kicks next week is we're gonna learn to catch them and then counter back. So this way you're gonna have different options to defend against those power kicks. So if you like the series, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure if you like these t-shirts, you can get them at bazookasquad.com and make sure you follow the guys behind the camera at DB Vault. We'll see you guys next week.